Okay, hey, 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 Paul, this is what I want to know right here. I heard Pat Dye say, how could he say that Gene Chicken is a better man than Nick Saban? I'm speaking for myself. I said, I'm going to love him. You got a bye week, and you can't get your players motivated. I think that's, uh, uh, you know, when you, that's for sure. That's pathetic, Paul. What you think? I, you know, I, now look, that is a concern right now. And uh, how could he judge? How could he judge Nick Saban as a man? It's just, I don't. There, there's, you know, I, 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 it got to be some straightening out down there. So it's beautiful. I listen to him when he call in on your show. I'm a long time listener, first time caller. I don't think so. I'm trying to figure out what give him the audacity to come on the radio and say something like that. Do you know, Paul? You know what I mean? I said it because of his past history. You know, there's a... The, uh... I think so, too, Paul. And I listen to him, Paul. How can he judge Nick Saban as a man? Well, well now, let me address that issue. He want to say, I don't know about, about a ball coach. Listen, he wouldn't be in trouble if he didn't win another game. He should have said that he wanted Gene Chicken to be a better ball coach. Oh, Pat Dye said this right here. I don't believe that Auburn would hire him. He could not get him motivated, then turn around and apologize to all the fans. And what about the boosters and everybody that represents the Auburn family?